My name is Jas Mohan Bajaj and I'm a hepatologist in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Virginia Commonwealth University and McGuire VA Medical Center in Richmond, Virginia. I'm here to tell you about our trial, Rifaximin Improves Driving Simulator Performance in Patients with Minimal Hepatic Encephalopathy that is going to be published in Gastroenterology. The reason why we did this trial was because patients with minimal hepatic encephalopathy suffer from several cognitive problems that may make it difficult for them to do uh, driving either in real life or in previous driving simulator studies. This is because psychomotor speed, response inhibition, and problems with working memory plague patients with minimal hepatic encephalopathy. The reason we chose rifaximin was because it can be uh, given with a placebo and therefore can be successfully blinded unlike uh, lactulose that has been used in pre previous studies. In this study, we randomly assigned patients into receiving either rifaximin or placebo for an eight-week trial. During this trial, patients were given uh, the driving simulation, uh, quality of life assessment using the sickness impact profile, an array of serum inflammatory markers uh, that check for inflammatory cytokines, uh, endothelial dysfunction, and neuroglial dysfunction, and also a battery of cognitive tests. Patients were then followed for eight weeks and at the end of eight weeks, adherence and performance on driving simulation, quality of life, and all the other measures were then assessed. The driving simulation consists of three parts that we used. Uh, this was pre previously published by our group. The three parts were training, the testing, and uh, navigation. Here, we can sh we'll show you the driving simulation and how these things were carried out in patients. These are the speeding limits. This is the speedometer. You can see signs are clearly marked as to where one can or cannot go. This is when a uh, patient is speeding and is not able to actually take control of the car. For the navigation task, the following map is given to the patients that they have to follow on the screen, which starts with here, the patient has to follow these marked paths and not make any mistakes and come all the way back to this stop sign. What we found in this study is that the percentage of people whose driving errors, that is a combination of speeding tickets, illegal turns, and collisions improved, was significantly higher in the rifaximin group compared to the placebo group. This was individually also significant for speeding tickets and for illegal turns, but not for collision, where a non-significant trend towards improvement was seen in the rifaximin group only. This was accompanied by a significant improvement in cognitive battery and the psychosocial aspect of the sickness impact profile only in the rifaximin associated rifaximin randomized group. There was also an increase in the anti-inflammatory cytokine IL-10. However, this study needs to be carried out in the realm of actual driving before any definite recommendations regarding rifaximin therapy in patients with minimal hepatic encephalopathy. Flop, flop, flop.